the world is running. They are they are in fear. There's um, they're there's in panic. Look, look what um, look what a virus. And I do believe it came from the lab. I, I do believe that at, at that least, at, at the very least, um, look look what this has done. And I'm going to say this: it's a scratch compared to the red horse, black horse, pale green horse that's just around the corner. What we're talking about right now is the waves before the tidal wave. We're just in the wave, and and this is this is bad enough. But this is what Scripture gave to us. For we can go back three thousand years to Psalm chapter two. We can go back to Isaiah. We can go back to you know two thousand years. But Jesus had this very end of days thing down very clearly, uh, which included pestilence. Uh, the very word lomos means disease, pest, pestilence, plague, pandemic, and then with that includes uh, terror and the rest. So. I think it's very important that we understand the spiritual backdrop. As as you've said, yes, I, I'm screaming out for 10 years now on radio that you opened the door for me uh, on on live radio like this in in this avenue. So I'm I'm saying that this biblical picture of the development of dark powers is toxic to the world. Uh, that agenda is you know what we see as far as deep state. That's nothing compared to the deeper than the deep state, the mysterium, the shadow system uh, that the book of Daniel, book of Revelation 13 talks about. So this right here should be a massive wake-up call to the world. It should shock the world and shake the world. We're not seeing the world turn to God, and we're, we're seeing the world in confusion and blame-shifting and everything, and we're going to see more of that. But Steve and Doug, my biggest concern is this is a scratch. This is a wave and the tidal waves are coming. As you just mentioned, the unprecedented hope Jesus brings. Now is the time, the darker it gets, the greater this light of Jesus, the truth, victory over death, seeing God face to face, indestructible immortality, knowing this. Uh, so we have that explicit message to preach in power. I also believe, as much as I believe the dark side is going to be operative beyond any scale in all collective human history, this goes way beyond the Old Testament, what we're dealing with now um, and what we're going to be dealing with. So, But we got to remember, too, God is going to respond to witnesses. Think in terms of what God's going to do, including the wrath of God unleashed on the beast kingdom. I have emphasized the four horsemen, seal one, seal two, seal three, seal four. Seal five, the slain, the martyrs from the red horse, black, all that that occurred. Look at seal six and seal seven. The 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 here God gives us a picture of the satanic elite, the eyes wide open, shut. You know, uh, the, those kind of people. They're going to be st they're going to be hiding in the rocks. They're going to be in great fear. See, they know this dark side. They this dark side knows their time is short. All of this is about them trying to save their tail. They're trying to save what they have because they're moving it all the way to Armageddon. They want to stop Jesus because in his return, he's coming to do what he said he would do, annihilate all of this. He's going to end this. Doesn't anybody want this to end? Death to end, disease to end, pedophiles to end, you know, rape, all, all of the war stuff, all the corruption everywhere. Don't we want this to end? Well, that's in the hands of Jesus, as you said, Steve. Uh, we 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 got We have to understand again, the church, and I'm saying this as a pastor that loves the body of Christ, and I'm in the body of Christ. But for 40 years, I'm saying there's been a massive disconnect on spiritual warfare that would have training, teaching, prophetic teaching. When I go to conferences, we've been to you know 120 conferences in in 10 years, 10, 11 years. I constantly ask everybody, how many here know what your authority is in Jesus? Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. Not, over 90% did not. How many here know what the content of the red horse, not just say the red horse, but what is the content of that prophecy? It has everything to do with us, everything to do with um, the, the first broad strike when the Antichrist is released. Steve, I'm telling you, 99 99% did not know. So this lack of um, the, the, the power of the Word of God is what brings the lack of the power of God. 
it's like what Jesus said at one time to dead religion. You neither know the word of God nor the power of God. Now, what we need to do immediately, this is good news, we can immediately stop all this um, skimming of, 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 of Scripture and skimming of our, our lives. We are to be the most supernaturally empowered, um, faith-filled, incredibly uh, hearing God, doing great exploits even, as, as the book of Daniel refers to the end of days. There's going to be believers that are going to do great exploits and tremendous things are going to be done. But, it, but it's, it's, a two, it's a double-edged thing. On the one side, the worst of the worst, and I'm going to say it again, hundreds of millions to the point of 2.8 billion are going to die in less than, in less than a seven-year period maybe a three and a half year period when all this breaks loose. So when we tell everybody what you're experiencing now, as bad as it is, it's just the little waves. Um, you're looking at the little waves or maybe like the tsunami, you know, like the tide, where all the water is sucked down. There's just movement. We're looking at the movement, but look further out, just a little ways away, connected to all this, is the massive, massive tidal wave. So, Steve, Doug, urgency. Um, the power of the gospel is the same. Jesus is the same. People can get healed today. There's no question. We've dealt with so many demons over the last 30, well, 40 years. I'm sick of them. We know astounding authority. We know what we're all about. The body of Christ, the gates of hell are not going to prevail. Whatever's coming out of them, we must understand who we are and I'm going to say again, we are the most empowered, backed, supernatural people on the planet beyond all of what I've seen in the underworld. But they are here. They are here. And, and because millions will embrace the lie, that becomes the gateway. That becomes the right. Uh, you, were, you know, we're talking not only the release of the Antichrist that brings uh, wave after wave of their plot and plan. It's that side that opens the abyss. It's that side that pushes towards Armageddon. It's their idea. And in all these cases, God limits, God strikes, God hits, and ultimately, praise God, annihilation of this. God keeps setting up the world. Even when the, the, the flood of darkness comes, God strikes back, God draws, God sets up the world for salvation. And, and that's, that's the news. What I want to say about the body of Christ and being a local pastor for 30 years too, and I've been doing this now for 14 years outside of that, uh, what we realize now is that the church has been, as you mentioned, Sardis was a dead church. That's we got to understand biblically that's a possibility, dead. So the dead church, though, is where no works of Jesus, no power, no demonstration, no reality— how could it be that we can millions can go to local gatherings on Sunday mornings, <coughs> have all the meetings that they're having, no invitations, no salvations, no healing, nobody there to pray for healing, obviously no deliverance issues, uh, and, 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 and desire to be so relevant, yet it is one of the most boring places then. So when we walk into a church and there's no expressed manifest presence of the Spirit of God, there's no interaction joyfully there's no joy of the lord that is our strength there's 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 no invitation in 25 people getting saved no 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 35 altar counselors to pray for healing give a word of knowledge uh pray over individuals nobody there with authority to cast out a demon uh no demonstration here's what i've been saying and, and i have a new book that's supposed to be coming out right now in, in the context of all this called um Becoming the powerhouse God intended, as you just mentioned. The Western Christian church is so abnormal that it thinks it's normal. So when the subnormal becomes the norm and thinks that's the norm, this deadness, this emptiness, that all the miracles, all the angels, all the powers of God, all when God did an earthquake and let Paul and Silas out of prison, all of that's past stuff we just read about. No, see, it's in my paradigm, in my belief, every bit of that is today. Every bit of that is right now. Don't, don't we realize we need everything God has? Don't we realize that in this hour that we're living in, 
every ounce of all that God is. And I'm going to say this. I don't listen to the skeptics. I don't listen to cessationists. I don't listen to the dead. I'm going to listen to the living, the living God. And, and I'm going to tell you right now that, that, um, that God is able, and I believe, I believe that some of these events will, will make a lot of individuals run to Jesus. They'll remember what they heard 30 years ago. They'll remember what their dad and mom and grandfather and grandmother said. There's many that will, when there's nowhere else to go, when there's bodies around them, when, there's, when, when everything is collapsed, they're going to turn. So I, I do believe that's a good, a good thing. But I don't care how much hell is on the face of the planet. Like David that ran onto the field, saw Goliath, and he ran towards him. I believe the body of Christ could become that powerful. Uh, this is not cliche stuff, Steve, Doug. This is what I really believe. I believe that there's going to be many that are going to be able to run onto the field. They're going to engage. There's going to be believers. Listen, let's get the heads up now. There's going to be believers by the hundreds of thousands worldwide that will lose their lives. Has, it, has nobody read the Fox's Book of Martyrs? Has nobody read the sequel, By Their Blood? Has, you know, I'm not running out the street saying, martyr me. I, I, didn't, I didn't chase down Satanists and have guns put at me and knives put at me and you know, blood brought to my door and doorstep and everything else over the years. Psalm 91 is true. God has protected me all these years. That underworld doesn't think anybody's going to come after them. I say the body of Christ raging in the power of God, becoming bold as a lion, like that picture of that lion. I love the picture of the lion. Because the, the righteous truly are as bold as a lion. Let the, let, let the scumbags run. Let, let, the, let the, those demonized and maguses and wizards, let them know that we're coming for them. And if we're taken out during the wet, you know, during this time, I've told before, I told my wife, here's what I told my wife, Steve, about death and dying. If for any reason God permits and they get me before it's time, you know, before, I, I've always felt I'm going to be here to the very end. Um, I always felt that way, I still do. But if they get me, I just want, just, just, it, it, the, only, the, only, <laughs> the only thing I want everybody to know is, I beat you. I got there first. I'll see you in a little while. <laughs> we, we've got to realize how real this is. Yes. So when we talk about Red Horse, let me mention this again. The book that I've written, Black, Black Awakening, Rise of the Satanic Super Soldier, it's over 600 pages. It is about Psalm chapter 2. It is about the rise of the dark side. It, it, it gives a tremendous focus on the Red Horse prophecy in Revelation 6. And it takes us all the way to Armageddon 1919, when the Therion, the Antichrist, gets on the field of human history. And the largest military, super soldier, augmented, uh, demonized, demon-empowered, the most powerful, you know, artelect-type weapons in human history. You know why they're going to be there? They're there. Here's, here's the perspective we need to realize. They are so scared. They are so in a frenzy. They know their time is so short. The entire reason for Armageddon is to try to stop what they know is going to happen. They're going to be annihilated. They're going to be ended. Chapter 20, Revelation 20, Satan is going to be chained by one singular angel thrown into the abyss for a thousand years. This is our victory. This is the time for our victory. This is the time when God's going to step in. Yes, the dark side is going to do everything. And I think every believer needs to understand the Red Horse Prophecy, which the underworld has has called that back as, as far as the early 90s. And I'm talking Fort Bragg Psy Warrior. I'm talking very person that spoke. You know, I, I I can go on and on about those those stories of people that we've engaged <laughs> over the years, uh, all the way to Germany, all the way to Scot. I mean, Scotland, Germany, France, Poland, wherever I've been, all all the same. Um, Steve, I met the top when we were in Scotland. I met the top guy in all of England, a barrister who's been in who's been in the parliament for numbers of years. He was a Singaporean uh, soldier, uh, native, but he's also native to, to, to England. So he's in London. He comes and speaks on the ritual abuse, the massive numbers of ritually abused in, in all of England. I never met him before. I did not know him. He's never read my book. He doesn't know anything about me. I walked up to him, Steve, and I said, Sir, you know about all these satanic programming, the alteration, the, the, the goal to change DNA, all that. You know this, right? Yes. You've dealt with it 25 years. Yes. Here's the question I ask him. Why are they here in England? 
his immediate response, they are here to collapse the United Kingdom, and they're here to be the ones that usher in the Antichrist in a new, re- a new regime. 